Njeri Nderi is an award-winning human rights activist. Born in October 16, 1979. Mother smart. Mm. Eh? The mother of three quit her promising career into a financial planning domain into activism. Her drive into it was inspired by a rare occurrence. She met young boys in a pavement downtown, molested and left for death. Journalist by profession, Wanjiri pursues an endeavor that earns no pay. A typical day can start with me receiving a phone call uh, to go to Kibera or Kayole or Moranga or Gatundu to rescue a child who's been raped and to force the community around there to demand justice. We get attacked. She uses social media to champion for social rights. She says the road to justice is murky. We decided um, as you know, members of Kenyans on Twitter to not be silent about the issue that the victims of the post-election violence are not being given the magnitude of, um, I don't even know how to put it. Um, last night we, we went and inboxed a few of us and we said, why can't we come to Uhuru Park and you know, sit in silence for 30 minutes to honor the victims of post-election violence. Nobody seems to want to deal with that part of this pre-EV problem. What are we celebrating as a country? What thanksgiving prayers are we giving when the people who suffered are still suffering and we are being told to keep the peace and forget? Why are we forgetting them? Why did they have to die such anonymous deaths? On June 29, 2015, she was attacked by a stranger for talking about corruption at Langata Mall. Uh, last year I was beaten up sometime in May, May, June. Uh, for being vocal about corruption. And it was very clear that the person who was attacking me told me, shut up or we shut you up. Everybody who sees an injustice happen needs to talk about it. Because it may be me today, it will be you tomorrow. So everybody and anybody can be and should be a human rights defender. Human rights defenders are not troublemakers. They are not funded to destabilize governments. They are human beings who feel the need to wake up and confront the issues that are affecting our country. She hopes that Kenyans wakes up to the reality of slavery. They are bound to.